dear learners welcome back so in today's presentation we are going to see the chapter wise important question for your final exam and the today's subject is the pharmaceutics 2 okay so let us begin with our today's presentation so let us see first the syllabus of the pharmaceutics 2 of diploma in pharmacy second year as we know there are total 12 chapters in pharmaceutics 2 so the first chapter is the prescription followed by posology then next is the monophysic liquid dosage forms then next is the biophysic liquid dosage forms in which uh, emulsion is there then followed by the suspension then next is the semi solid dosage forms in which there is ointment paste and jellies then followed by the suppositories and pastries then the next chapter is the solid dosage forms followed by sterile dosage forms then next is the ophthalmic products then the dental and cosmetic preparations and finally the incompatibilities in prescription so in this presentation we are going to see the important chapter wise questions and points on the first six chapter okay then in the next video we will see the last six chapters so starting with the first chapter that is prescription so the in this chapter the important point that you are going to focus for your final exam is the definition of prescription the parts of prescription then the format of prescription there is a typical format of the prescription then the next point which is important is the sources of errors while dispensing the prescription so the question will be asked what are the sources of errors while dispensing the prescriptions then latin terms as we already know it is important for your theory as well as in practicals if you don't know the latin terms you cannot perform the practicals okay because you have to first translate the latin terms into the english so all the latin terms you should know and then next is the imperial systems and metric system tables out of which also the four most important uh, imperial systems uh, the symbols are the drachms fluidons okay drachm fluidons then minims and grains okay these are the important for your theory as well as your practicals so the next point which is important in this uh, chapter is the calculations involved in dispensing so there are different calculations out of which which are important for your exam point of view are the alcohol dilution then allegation method then proof spirit calculation then calculations for adjustment to isotonicity in which the freezing point method calculation is very important okay apart from this uh, calculation you should also know what are the what is the isotonic solution what is hypotonic solution what is the hypotonic solution okay then the next calculation is the uh, calculation of doses for children okay in which there is young's rule dilling's rule pride's formula okay so these uh, calculation of doses for children is also important the uh, calculation may be asked in your exam i have made a separate video on this calculation of doses for children you can refer that video also okay then the next calculation is the temperature measurement so these are the cal important calculation for your uh, from your exam point of view so the next chapter is the posology okay so in this chapter uh, what are the important points that is the definition of posology then factors which influence the dose okay now the factors there are as we know there are total 16 factors which influence the dose out of which uh, some of the important factors from my point of view for your exam is the synergism antagonism idiosyncrasy hypersensitivity tolerance and tachyphylaxis and apart from this the uh, child dose calculations are also included in this chapter that also you have to focus then the next chapter is the monophysic liquid dosage form okay so first point keep in the mind that you should know the classification of monophysic liquid dosage form perfectly okay if you don't know the classification you cannot move further so first step in this chapter is the you should know the classification of monophysic liquid dosage form now in this chapter the next important point is mixture okay now in mixture you should know the definition of mixture and classification of mixture now in the classification as you know there are total six class of mixtures okay out of that six you should focus on the which are the important 
that are the mixture containing the indivisible solids mixture containing precipitate forming liquids mixture containing slightly soluble liquids okay now the next is the suspending agent you should know which suspending agents are used in formulation of mixtures okay uh, whether it is a uh, compound product of powder of triacan cpt or triacan mucilage when you should use the cpt when you should use the triacan mucilage in what concentration you should use the cpt in what concentration you should use the triacan mucilage this is also important because you are performing this in the practicals also okay so it is very important in both in theory as well as practical then next is the method of dispensing of mixtures okay you should know the general method of dispensing of mixtures as well as uh, you should know one give one example of mixtures and again the method of dispensing of that example okay of that mixture you should uh, this is very important then the next part you should uh, focus is the formulation of mixtures so this is about the mixtures which is a very important point from your exam point of view you should focus on these points then the next important point in this chapter is the syrups you should know the definition of syrup then types of syrup and methods of preparation of syrups then the next point uh, which is important is the differentiate between or the compare and contrast between following there are four compare and contrast out of which first is the liniments and lotions second is the syrups and elixirs third one is the mixture and draught and the fourth one is the diffusible and indiffusible solids so these are the four important differentiate from your exam point of view then next is the due reasons okay there are total eight due reasons in this chapter you will see one by one which are the which are those it is important from your theory as well as practical point of view okay first is the linkage should be taken in small doses without any dilution then the next is the gargles are dispensed in concentrated form third one is the liniment should not be applied to the broken skin then the next give reason is the liniment are applied with friction then the next give reason is the oily vehicles are not used in nasal drops then next is the glycerin is preferred as a vehicle for throat pains the next give reason is maybe asked is why the throat pains are discussed and the next is the why simple syrup ip is a self preservative so these are the important due reasons from your exam point of view okay then the definitions these are some uh, important definitions from your exam point of view see one point you should remember whenever the question is asked to define should not always write the definition you should back that definition with example okay no doubt only if the definition is asked you should write but it should back with the example so these are some points you should know the definition that is elixirs linkages mouthwash throat paints liniments lotions inhalations enemas gargles douche ear drop nasal drop and nasal spray so always write definition with examples okay so the next chapter is the biophysical liquid dosage form in which the chapter is the emulsion so see this is the very interesting and important chapter of your pharmaceutics too because you are uh, learning it in theory and performing this in practical okay you should have the thorough knowledge of emulsion okay so the important points in this chapter are definition of emulsion then types of emulsion then identification test for emulsions then methods of preparation of emulsions then instabilities of emulsions okay instabilities that is creaming cracking phase inversion you should uh, these are the important points then next point is the theories of emulsification then next is the emulsifying agent okay in emulsifying agent what is important is you should know the classification then role of emulsifying agents in uh, emulsion in formation of emulsions then next is the hlb value you should know the hlb scale okay then the next important point is the evaluation test or the quality control test for emulsion so these are the important points apart from this the question may be asked uh, why most of the emulsions appear opaque okay then again the question may be asked why primary emulsion is necessary in formation of emulsions 
so these points are important from your theory as well as practical point of view okay then the next chapter is the biophysical liquidosis form that is suspensions okay in these suspensions the more for, uh, first and the foremost important uh, point that you should know is the definition of suspension then qualities of good suspension okay then compare and contrast that is differentiate between flocculated and non flocculated suspensions then you should know the formulation of suspensions then classification of suspensions then evaluation of stability of the suspension and finally the methods of dispensing of suspension so these are the important question out of which the qualities of good suspension and uh, compare and contrast between the flocculated and non flocculated suspension is the four most important for your from your exam point of view okay then the next chapter is the semi solid dosage forms in which uh, the ointment paste and gel is so uh, in first we will see in what is important in ointment okay the definition of ointment classification of ointment then the ointment basis okay classification of ointment basis then methods of preparation of ointments okay i have made a separate video on the uh, preparation of ointment you can refer that video also then the next point which is important in this ointment is the factors which govern the selection of an ideal base for the ointments in which there are two factors that is dermatological factors and the pharmaceutical factors then next is the paste so it is a very short point short but sweet point and but is important okay so what is uh, in the paste you should focus on the definition of paste then methods of preparation of paste then basis used for paste then storage of paste and finally the difference between or compare and contrast between the ointment and paste this is very important point compare and contrast between the ointment and paste so the next is the jellies so what is important uh, point that you should focus for your uh, final exams okay the definition of jellies types of jellies then method of preparation of jellies then preservation of jellies then formulation of jellies and finally the storage of jelly so these are the points you should focus and which are important from your final exam point of view then the next point which is important is the poultice it is the four most important point and question from your final exam point of view because you are preparing poultice in your practicals also and uh, you are learning continuing theory also so you should know the definition of poultice method of application of poultice you should give one example official example of poultice and finally the storage of poultice so these are the important points uh, of poultice that you should know so i hope you have understood the important questions and the important points that you should focus in theory especially in theory and simultaneously in the practical of this first six chapters okay so thank you for your patience next listening and in our next video we will focus on the remaining six chapters and important questions that may be asked and uh, important questions and uh, for uh, from the point of view of your final exam so thank you for your patience listening if you like this video press like button and for more videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for your patience listening Keep learning.